Hi everyone, in this special KT video we're looking at the rise in the price of Bitcoin and looking at its brief history as well as future projections. Bitcoin continued its breathtaking rally well into the start of January when it hit the record high value of $34,000 on Sunday, January 3, 2021. By Monday, January 4 afternoon, the price had faced an about 11% decline down to $30,000 a Bitcoin. Other cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum and XRP have also been witnessing renewed interest over the last few days. Bitcoin, however, remains the oldest and most popular cryptocurrency. Now looking at its history, the previous high for Bitcoin was way back in December 2017 when the cryptocurrency price hit $19,850. Analysts had then classed it as a price bubble and it turned out to be that way. The price of Bitcoin fell rapidly, crashing all the way down below $7,000 by April 2018 and below $3,500 in November 2018. In 2020, there has been a renewed interest among investors, particularly during the pandemic, with prices starting out at $7,200 in January. Towards the end of the year, Bitcoin took off even further as institutions began to recognize it as a store of value during the rapidly increasing inflation of the dollar from COVID-19 stimulus spending. Bitcoin's price reached a peak of just under $24,000 in December 2020, giving it a year-to-date increase of 224%. So let's look at what is coming up next for Bitcoin. At what price did Bitcoin start? Well, Bitcoin first started trading from around 0.0008 to 0.08 dollars in July 2010 per coin. How much was one Bitcoin worth in 2009? Well, the value of Bitcoin was about zero dollars when it was first introduced in 2009. What do analysts say? According to the June 2020 crypto research report, the cryptocurrency could go over $397,000 by 2030. Speaking to Khalid Times, Saeed al-Darmaki, chairman of eGovern, says that Bitcoin's price could reach as high as $50,000 by the end of 2021. Now, due to the currency's decentralized and nearly anonymous nature, it can be hard to get money returned after losing it in a scam, as there is no central authority, such as a bank, to intervene. Analysts say that the US Federal Reserve is partly responsible for the cryptocurrency's rise, adding that the reserve is expected to leave interest rates near zero for several more years. Bitcoin may continue to win new fans. Looking far ahead into the future, founder and chief executive of Devere Nigel Green said that Bitcoin will replace gold as a safe haven within a generation, particularly due to the digital savvy millennials and Generation Z, adding that Bitcoin's key characteristics such as its fixed supply and how transactions are immutable, distributed, non-sovereign and decentralized are highly attractive for investors. To read more about the rising popularity of Bitcoin, log on to khalichtimes.com. Thank you for watching.